Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past few days and we're starting off here on Hirschfelden in multiplayer where I ended up finding this level 5 European bison. Now there was a whole ba basically a bit of a fiasco with this guy because I spotted him initially and I went to bring up my recording program and my recording program would not start and I actually had to leave the session, restart my entire laptop and then jump back into the session, go and find this guy by tracking him down. Then I could start my recording program and as you guys will see, I did actually manage to bring him down there with a shot from the 300. And I was really lucky that I actually managed to get back in to bring this guy down. I really didn't want to take him down without being able to record it to show you guys. Because these guys, you don't see an awful lot of level 5 European bison getting posted. They're just not the like most common diamond in the game. And I'm always really excited when I find one. I've only ever found a couple. So finding this guy was very exciting. And he actually ends up being my biggest European bison diamond ever at 279.90. That's a really good sized diamond bison. And that shot was basically where I wanted to place it. It could have maybe been a little bit further back just so it wouldn't have hit the shoulder blade. But it did exactly what it needed to do. The 300 has more than enough power to bring these guys down with that single long shot. And yeah, that is just such a cool diamond. And I've never actually shot a... Like, I don't think I've ever shot any European bison, let alone a diamond, actually in the crop fields on Hirschfelden, which is why I took a couple of screenshots there. It just looked so cool, like, actually seeing one out of the forest. They're such awesome animals. I really love the European bison. I was actually there looking for fallow deer and wild boar, as there's normally a, a good amount of fallow and wild boar in the same area where I found this guy. And yeah, as soon as as soon as he ran past me, I knew that that had to be a level five. Those horns looked really, really big. And yeah, sure enough, he's a very good sized diamond. And I was extremely happy that I actually managed to bag this guy. Just getting any diamond off Hirschfelden always feels really, really satisfying. And just something about the European bison is always really awesome. Now, this clip had me chuckling because right here I'm actually stood AFK and right as I get back, I turn around, I thought, okay, I'll just have a quick spot around and see if I've missed anything while I've been gone. And what do I see? A level five mule deer fleeing from a mountain lion. Literally the first set of animals I spot from coming back from being AFK has a, what should be a diamond mule deer in there. And I don't think I've ever shot one that has this exact rack. This rack is absolutely epic looking and I have seen other people post it. And yeah, I don't think I've ever shot one that looks right, like exactly like this. This is a really awesome looking buck. And I tracked him down for quite a way after that mountain lion spooked them all. And as you will see there, managed to put a long shot into him with the M1. And he doesn't go very far before he actually goes down. That is a absolutely gorgeous looking buck. He is the blonde fur type, which isn't necessarily my favourite fur type for these guys. But something about how the blonde fur type looks with this set of antlers actually looks really smart in my opinion. And yeah, picking him up, I've definitely never shot a buck that has this exact set of antlers. I think I've shot one similar, but there's something about this one that just looks different. And he is absolutely beautiful. Quite high scoring as well at 334.90. He's a big diamond buck and that is a really awesome find. And like I said, it just made me chuckle that I came back from being AFK for a good 10 minutes. And I, I expected honestly to have been kicked from this multiplayer session by the time I got back and then I spot that group of mule deer and yeah there was a level five it was just so funny to me to actually have that happen I've had it happen before where I've got gone afk and I come back and there's a rare or something going past but I don't think I've ever had it with a diamond and yeah that was a really really awesome one that I was very happy to take down now the following set of clips is basically a little bit of a compilation of some diamond fallow bucks that I've found in multiplayer and single player over the past few days of grinding for a melanistic fallow buck. 
starting off here with one in multiplayer with the spotted fur type which as i've said before is my favorite um, common fur type for these guys and he is a diamond at 262.60 beautiful looking diamond i managed to get that long shot right in there just before he actually put his head down to drink again i was really lucky that that shot actually came off it could have very easily gone wrong i then ended up having this guy flee past me in a different multiplayer session and there's just something about the fallow deer they just look so huge especially when they run past you like that so this one had me really excited there's just like i said there's just something about fallow deer they're really awesome looking diamonds and thankfully he stopped there and gave me a nice broadside shot and i managed to drop him on the spot with the m1 Again, a really nice looking diamond, I believe with the dark fur type, and he is also a 265.50 a diamond. Again, really, really nice buck. Not my favourite fur type for these guys, I do prefer the spotted, but they're just so impressive looking. I so hope we get a fallow deer great one at some point in the near-ish future, because imagine how epic a great one fallow is going to look when the diamonds look this good. Now, this guy actually was on my single player as I was grinding on Tay Awara for a Melanistic Fallow Deer, and he uh, as well ran past me, and so I waited for him there to stop and give me a shot. And again, really, really big looking buck. They are absolutely giant. I just love these guys for the diamonds. They are honestly one of the biggest and coolest looking diamonds in the game. And this guy is actually quite a big one at 267.30. Now he's not my personal best and as I said he's not the exact fur type that I really like on the common fallow deer but that's a really really nice buck. And you're going to notice I'm saving a lot of these harvests rather than necessarily taxing them straight away and that's just because I've got so many diamond fallow deer in my trophy manager already that I don't know whether I'm going to tax every single one at the moment. Now this one here was another one from my single player grind and I took a very long shot there. I thought okay let's just try it and see how it goes because he doesn't have a huge estimate anyway so I know he's not going to be a 270 plus fallow deer and I actually managed to get him in the vitals at 364 meters another diamond fallow down from the grind 264.70 scoring buck and I was really happy with where that shot went that's like dead center of the lung so I was really really happy with that I don't take a whole lot of long shots on potential diamonds so that was a bit of a fun one for me I just thought seeing I've got a few of them now in uh, in storage let's just try it and it paid off really well but now moving on to one of the most special clips in this entire video you guys might already know what that is just by just seeing it on the screen but I couldn't believe my eyes and I was just I had to check and see if it was actually what I thought it was that is a level four melanistic fallow buck it happened in my single player he showed up and honestly I was looking at it and I was like now am I just tricking myself is that just a dark one stood in the shadows because I've been tricked by that dark fur type before when they stand in the shadows. And I think partly that's probably why it's not my favourite fur type. Just because they always trick me into thinking they're melanistics when they're in the in the shadowy areas. But there was no mistaking it. This guy is definitely a melanistic. And I was hoping that he could actually make gold. He does have a set of antlers that can make gold. And I was really, really hoping that that would be the case. I decided I wanted to take this guy with the bow. So you saw me initially spook him off as I was actually checking to see that he was a melanistic because I didn't want to put in a you know a long stalk trying to get really close to him and then it ended up just being one that was uh, that dark fur type in the shadows that had tricked me. So what I did after I confirmed that he was a melanistic, I reset the time because it was getting towards the end of their time and I also reset my, my game by just going in and out of the map so that he was then back in his need zone and I could put a proper stalk on him. And I also really wanted to get really close and take some pictures of this guy because these are incredibly rare. And seeing as it was on my single player and I have full control, I don't see why not. Why, why shouldn't I take the time to just enjoy seeing this guy out in the wild? Because like I said, these are so incredibly rare. This is the first one I've ever seen. And I have the ability to change the time and, you know, reset the map if I need to, if he won't come back to his zone. 
and yeah i've got full control there's no there's no worry about other people coming in and trying to steal him so i'm gonna take my time and enjoy just seeing this guy because that's something that i've noticed is when you see videos of these is normally they're in the distance and you don't actually quite get to appreciate just how beautiful these things are i was absolutely just mind blown at how beautiful this buck was and I know it's going to be frustrating for some people as I have had comments in the past that, that I, you know, I take too long with animals like this. But I do not see the point in rushing when I have full control because it's in my single player. Because I can end up taking images like these that I'm taking here, which you just don't see a lot of pictures up close of these rare animals. And I use them for, you know, my backgrounds of my laptop. I use them to post on my Instagram. And yeah, I just love taking them. And this particular image came out so well. I was so happy with how that one came out that it made taking all of those pictures really worth it. Now, you will have seen that they went alert there because a couple of the does did actually spook off. And uh, this guy and his group, they went alert, the does fleed off, they all came back and then they decided to drink in this spot. And I thought, okay, I'll take a couple of pictures sort of through the tree. I might use that as a teaser or as a thumbnail, I don't know. And uh, now I'm at 20 metres, I will take him with the bow. But you may notice there on my left hand side, a doe comes right up and then spooks and then knocks most of my health away, which made the rest of the group notice that there was something wrong. I was desperately here trying to get into the one spot of this bush that actually gave me full cover, which is why I'm moving around like this. Because for some reason, this bush doesn't give cover in every single spot. It was like kind of specific where you had to stand. But again, some of the does fleed off, the buck stayed and he went alert, then he went back to attentive. And at this point I was trying to get him to notice me. So I ran over here and I was like, okay, let's see if this tiny little tree thing gives me cover. And sure enough it did. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's no way this is working. There's no way this thing gives me cover. The, the whole like improvised blind skill on Te Awara is so incredibly useful and it will amaze you what, what stuff actually does give you full cover. It sometimes doesn't make any sense at all. And this guy ended up turning and walking straight back towards me calm. And I knew that this is when it was going to happen. This is when I was going to shoot him. He goes to... It actually says he goes to fleeing and I drop him on the spot with the bow like right in front of me. How cool was that? I was absolutely pumped. I cannot tell you guys how excited I was. Like, how that ended up working out was incredible. How, it's just so funny. You get into that right position and then they walk right towards you. Just absolutely incredible. I was so, so happy. And just look at this guy. Look at how absolutely stunning he is. That sort of, there's like two, almost two tones of black and grey with the sort of faint white spots. What a beauty. And picking them up, he does make gold at 174.40 melanistic level 4 fallow buck. I could not be more happy. I was just hoping that I would get any size melanistic fallow buck. It didn't matter to me whether it was a level 1, a level 2, a level 3. But to get a level 4 and it to actually make gold was absolutely mind-blowing. And that shot, 7.9 metres, double one. And I knew that people immediately were going to ask, hey, how did you get that close? So I clipped the bit where he walked towards me and I dropped him with the bow. And I was like, could you get a more cooperative animal in the end? He literally basically walked into my arrow. Just absolutely awesome. Is so cool somehow, like sometimes with the bow hunting, if you get things right, like you've got your skills and everything, like I do for improvised blind, and you just get in that right spot and everything goes right like that, and you get such an incredible experience of dropping him right as he was about to flee that just felt so incredibly epic, and I was so, so stoked. Absolutely awesome. One of my dream animals to find in this game. And yeah, what an absolutely stunning creature. And I know I've said that repeatedly and I've kind of rambled about this guy. But yeah, that was absolutely awesome. And the awesome experience didn't even stop with that melanistic buck. Because I thought, hey, I got really lucky there. Let's see if I got lucky with any other respawns and go and check all the other zones on this run. 
and only a couple of like zones later i found this a level four piebald fallow buck on my map just chilling and i was like are you are you actually serious because i have never shot a decent sized piebald all of my piebald fallow deer have been like level twos or small level threes and then I see this guy and I was like, there's no way. There's no way that I just got a melanistic and now there's a piebald. And he's also going to be a gold with that rack. There's no doubt in my mind that he's going to make gold. That's going to be epic. Because me some of you guys may know if you've been following the channel for a while. I do actually have a troll level 5 albino fallow that I shot in multiplayer not long after Te Awara came out. So this would mean that I could make a huddle mount of all gold rares for fallow deer and i just couldn't believe it i was so so excited and it was just one of those moments i was like okay game like this this is just too cool i couldn't believe what i was seeing he is absolutely gorgeous and the piebald fallow are one of the most beautiful piebalds in the game in my opinion because they do have like those different tones of brown as well as the white they're just stunning and the size of this guy He's just awesome. What an awesome looking buck. And again, I'm taking pictures because you don't see a whole lot of like really good size rare fallow. And he's just absolutely beautiful. I'm so, so excited. And I was so excited to actually get this out and share it with you guys. The grind paid off and it paid off really quickly. I'm very, very lucky. And yeah, two epic bucks. He is a gold at 201.10 piebald fallow what an absolute beauty and i also took him with the same bow that i just took the melanistic with i hadn't even changed my loadout i literally shot the melanistic took all the pictures of him shared it and then jumped back into my map came to this the, like this zone um around this lake and yeah saw this guy stood there and just took him with the same bow immediately hadn't had time to you know re rechange out my loadout to my normal guns i still only had the bow so yeah how cool is that he's just an absolute stunner what a cracking buck and from an epic single player experience to an epic multiplayer experience you will have just seen me spot a level 3 albino seeker and in the same location at the same lake there was a level 5 seeker too now you will have seen me open my map really quickly there and just check to see where another player was because that blue player that you will have seen me just see where they were on the map and then close it was actually using some kind of cheat that was allowing them to zoom around the map and shoot a ton of animals. And they were on their way down this way. They were moving this way. And I was not losing this albino seeker. I had run around the rest of this session and seen loads of seeker. None of them albino or big or anything special. And then I saw this guy. And my heart, let me tell you guys, my heart just was pounding out of my chest. I have been looking for one of these things for over a year. And you will have actually just seen there in the bottom left, you can see that that guy was harvesting all kinds of animals. And then he, I think he got kicked finally. But I managed to get this albino before he got down here. And oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. One of the rarest animals in the game again. And it was right under the nose of someone that was using, you know, illegitimate means to try and get animals. And he actually didn't ever shoot anything good either, which I thought was quite funny. And then I come here and there's, you know, there's this absolutely incredibly rare animal and a level five. And I was just like, this is incredible. And this spot hadn't been checked. So that's why I came down here. There was no need zones in this entire quarter of the map. So I was like, okay, I'll go down there and look for Seeker. And I found this. I couldn't have been more thrilled. He's not a gold, but honestly, I couldn't care less. I just wanted to get an albino stag and he's actually a decent size. Like he looks good. That's not a bad looking seeker stag and he's just absolutely gorgeous. How beautiful is is he with those like blue color eyes as well? Just a just an absolutely stunning stag. And right as I came out of the harvest screen, I moved a few meters, like sort of to where towards where the where I thought the tracks of the level five would be, and the level five was stood there. Apparently, I took so long, sort of admiring that absolutely beautiful albino, that this guy had already turned around and come back. And I decided that I would take no time at all and just drop him on the spot as well. That was just absolutely bonkers what a crazy experience and like i said i did check around the rest of this multiplayer session and everything was legit 
I have been so careful in multiplayer recently because, as I've mentioned to you guys, there's an awful lot of people using not good means to do things in multiplayer at the minute. Lots of cheaters, lots of hackers, and it drives me up the wall. And I always check around in every session to see, you know, check everything's looking right, everything's legit. And there was just nothing good in this session. And this was literally the last set of places that I was coming to check. The last set of lakes. And one of them, one of these lakes had not only a diamond, but also an incredibly awesome rare. Which, it just blows my mind that that even happened. I was like, there's no way. It's, it's funny because, like I said, I've spent over a year looking for an albino seeker. And then it happens in that kind of way. It's just absolutely mind-blowing. And it, that's a really beautiful diamond stag as well. I just cannot believe I got that lucky. I'm so, so happy and I just can't believe it. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. A couple of animals in here that I just, I still, I just can't believe it. I hope that, you know, my absolute shock at the events that have happened in the past few days comes across because I just can't believe it. And I keep saying that, but yeah, I honestly can't. Sometimes you spend so long looking for something like melanistic fallow or an albino seeker and then when it finally happens it's like it's like you found a unicorn. It's like oh my gosh finally there it is. It's just absolutely awesome and yeah I was so excited to actually share that experience with you guys. So thank you so so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for all your support as always. I really do appreciate all of it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.